Martin Tyler here with Alan Smith. Hello to you all and welcome to today's game. And when we're looking at the quality of, of women's football here and, and the Arsenal, your old club, they were very much at the forefront of developing it in uh, the UK. They were, yes, many years back now. Vic Akers, who's now the kit man at Arsenal, he was the manager for a number of years and uh, really enjoyed a lot of success. And it is a game played with... To take the lead! Hit it hard, <laughs> but not very true. Into the attacking third. Come away with the ball cleaning. Great tackle. Now they've got the ball back. What can they do from here? Schelling. Here they are, on the attack. They've got the ball in the middle of the pitch here. This might be it! Goal! Off the post and in! Just touched in off the post, goalkeeper absolutely beaten. No, it's a wonderful strike, really crisp effort. So the first goal, it's 1-0. Here's Dahlqvist. Aslani. Attacking well here. It could be a chance. A real miscue here.
Alan Smith is with me. I'm Martin Tyler. Delighted to have your company for this match today. Thank you. Enjoy the game. Akisas Paul with the kickoff. This is the lineup for the home side. 4 3 3. And they've got natural wide players in that front three with a central striker. He's had a go here. Well, what a start to the game that would have been for them, Alan. The first goal coming so early, but not quite. Well, he's kicking himself. He can't believe he's missed from so close in two. Good position, they've worked this attack very well into a quite a dangerous position now. Could be his game today, the way he's been playing recently. He uh, really has enjoyed this competition, scored a lot of goals. To take the lead. Goes out wide again. On the attack with real gusto a moment or two ago, but it rather left them dismayed in the end. Well, they've lost the ball and gone and got it back high up the pitch. Promising build up until that challenge. They've gone wide, chance to get the ball in the box. Good defending. Spotted that well and intercepted. Now they've got a chance in this part of the pitch. Here's a chance in really for what seemed a certain opening goal. Oh dear, oh dear, I think it's one of those that might play on his mind now for the rest of the match. They could, guiding it through. He's in here. Very brave goalkeeping coming out like this. Starting position was right, and he had a lovely turn of pace to narrow down the angle there. And now he's looking for some support. He's very confident with the ball at his feet. And now the shot. What we get to see, of course, the assistants don't. Whether that'll change down the years, uh, I'm not sure. But anyway, the replay here shows he's got it right. He has. I mean, there was no real goal-scoring chance, but uh, the defence would be pleased that uh, their organisation caught him off. Coming on strong and looking to play their way through now. And in the shot, go! That's a free kick. The referee obviously allowed them to take that quickly. That's a good idea with the pass. Very close in and very close to the target. Perhaps could have done better. Yeah, an unusual choice, I think, just to try and get power behind it from so close in. Now, here's a chance to get at the opposition. Still got a bit to do. In with a chance. It was an easy save. Oh. 
There's some potential in this move. And here's the shot. That's a fine strike, but not quite what he was hoping for. But when he's hit it, I'm sure he would have thought that was going to bulge in the back of the net. Not quite, though. Able to make a good interception. Trying to switch on the attacking power in this situation. There will be a minimum. Three minutes from the referee via the fourth official. That's the decision. Hi there, I'm Martin Tyler. Alan Smith is with me. We should have a fine game for you today. And our match today is Athletic Bilbao against Atletico Mineiro. Here's the celebrated referee today, Jean-Daniel Lacagna. Bilbao's lineup. Di Marcos plays with Balenciaga as the fullbacks. Vitor Aspe plays alongside Raul. To finish it off! Oh, what a start to the game that would have been for them, Alan. The first goal coming so early, but not quite. Well, he's kicking himself. He can't believe he's missed from so close in two. Trying to switch on the attacking power in this situation. Crowder telling him to have a crack. Can he pick the right options here? Adoris. He's the one we're focusing on. I think with good reason. Well, sometimes you talk about not being able to coach a quality, and I think his finishing ability is one such thing because uh, he just does it naturally. 
Raul Garcia. What a save. That will be a corner. In goes the corner to take the lead. Cleared it well. It's come off the goalkeeper, still in play. Martinez! Whoa, that's thrown over the bar. Wow, the crowd were up on their feet there. It was a spectacular effort. It goes into the wider areas where they've got a winger waiting. Bit of space to go forward into with the ball. Oh, it's going to tie his luck. Well, you've got to have a go, haven't you, to score a goal, but the odds were against him from that position. Uh, lost his call a bit there, I thought. It was a really wild effort. Could pose some danger now. So we're ready to start, sit back and enjoy the next 90 minutes of football. Well, this is how the home team shape up, 4-3-3. And they've got natural wide players in that front three with a central striker. I think that's the key, because those lads on the flanks, it's quite a complicated job, actually, because they've got to come inside, support the centre forward, and they've also got to funnel back. He's got his shot off now. Good defending. Well, he could be the star turn in this game. Must be loving the season so far. He's got 15, top scorer. He could lay it off to the supporting player. It's a good ball, they could be it. In with a chance. 
Well, sometimes these opportunities can come too early, and maybe this is one of them. Yeah, maybe just caught cold there, wasn't expecting the chance to land at his feet and made a mess of it. Martinez. It's looking good this move. To take the lead. Oh, it's a long way away from the target. He was so close in. Oh, that's a howler. And he's uh, getting some stick off those supporters. Could be a chance here. They've got the ball into a good area. That could open them up. He's had a go here. And he's opened the scoring here. there was superbly taken oh those kind of rebound goals I used to love getting them because it's all about anticipation and that has opened the scoring 1-0 here and here they are on the attack they spread it out wide here chance to get some width into this attack and shoots the referee's given a corner Corner's taken. Defended. Oh, it's into the net, and it's an own goal. Oh, what a shocking moment for the player. Look at him, he's distraught. So, away we go at one all. There's some potential in this move. Cut it out.
Hi there, I'm Martin Tyler, and this is the Azteca. I think the women's game now running in tandem with the men's game, with all the different competitions, European Championships, World Cups. It's a very exciting development, and there's no doubt that the standards are going up with the intensity of the competition. And I think the players involved, what they would be encouraged by is the fact that the crowd seem to be getting bigger, and the profile on television, in the media, has increased over the years. There's no doubt, as broadcasters, we get invited to cover women's tournaments as much as men's tournaments now, which would never have happened 20, 25 years ago. Yeah, I mean, I think the level of competition in these tournaments now makes it more appealing to a worldwide audience, you might say. Spotted that well and intercepted. Good position, they've worked this attack very well into a quite a dangerous position now. Opportunity now! Plenty of power, but not too much direction. Into the attacking third. To Nieto. Well, here's a chance. Very close in and very close to the target. Perhaps could have done better. Yeah, an unusual choice, I think, just to try and get power behind it from so close in. Maro played forward a bit of menace in this attack great play from the attacker it's a good cross good shoot from here that's what the crowd think straight forward stop looking to widen the play really widen the build up but the ball's just run straight out over the touchline Mayor Flores now Mayor room now out of the wing to Nieto good defending be a throw Ocampo well the ball's been deflected out so it'll be a throw in it's Maro some options now for the pass put into the middle and that's really the way to get the ball out of the danger zone chance to go into the lead now oh a good goal and now they're a goal to the good that's beautifully placed steered in she got it absolutely spot on well from that tight angle I don't think she could afford really to put a foot through it she had to place it so the first goal it's 1-0 
she's got the ball back got the ball now under control and a chance to move themselves forward get up the pitch here's Carissimi must score one answer oh they could have increased their advantage then yeah I think that would have been game over it should have been really from that distance back to get a touch and get involved in the game there's some potential in this move the equaliser here you can only put it behind for the corner very well taken goal she kept her balance kept her bearings as well well I was surprised actually she went for goal from that angle but uh, placed it in beautifully Corner played in. Murillo! Now to Kari Cimini. And they've cut it out. Now Straki. Three minutes, that's what's going to be played for added time. They're not in the box here. In with a chance. Oh, that's such a classy goal. Well, if you look back through the archives, you'll see that this player has scored quite a few from these kind of distances.